Welcome to Alan's Yummy Food Story. So today, guys, we are making a potato roll samosa. This is a, this is a really easy to make recipe. So it's good if you want to have it both black tea or normal tea. It comes with a really good sauce which my mom made. And also, let's see how we made this sweet recipe. So first things, guys, you need to boil and also peel these potatoes. They should be boiled first. So now let's head into our ingredients. So first ingredient is the most main ingredient here. It is used to make these sheets and it is maida or flour. So this is basically needed to make the sheets. Next is an optional ingredient is oil. You can add veg or sunflower oil. So next we got some sesame seeds. We got some onions. Three of them are there. And also we got some four big golden potatoes which are not only boiled but also are really peeled. As you can see, they are really golden. So next here, we got some ginger. We got some garlic. We got some chopped green chili. And also, we got some coriander leaves. So as you can see, these are all the stuff. So now, let's head to the masala. So the masala is the important thing here. So now we gotta talk about the important masas. We got red chili, we got turmeric, we got cumin powder, and we even got some salt. So now, without further ado, we have got all the ingredients. Now let's start the recipe, guys. So first thing, guys, we need to do is to crush the ginger and garlic into a paste. You need to grate. Next thing, we need to grate the potatoes into a finely grinded, gr grinded potatoes. Look at those; they look nice. So next, we need to chop these onions and make them chopped onions, which actually look like this. So chopped onions is complete. So next, we need to make the sheets. So we need to make the dough. So we need to add some some half teaspoon as you can see now we are going to add two tablespoons of oil and then add and then it's optional you can add veg or some flour then you can add a half cup of water and then you need to knead it properly kneading in this kneading to make a best dough is a, it's a bit challenge but soon you'll be able to do it so knead it for some minutes and then add some sesame seeds which are also very important to the texture and also the taste. So knead them also, add them and knead them. And also let's make the dough rush for some 10 minutes so that and let's continue to the next part. So the next thing we need to do is add some oil and also add the ginger garlic paste and also we got the add then add the green chili, the chopped there, which are chopped. And also mix them thoroughly. Yeah, mix them thoroughly for some time, for two minutes. So you can see my mom is mixing them. Then add some onions also and mix them thoroughly as well. So you can see my mom is mixing them and much thoroughly and really good. So you can see my mom's mixing, mixing. So now the onions are going to turn brown, only then you add the potatoes, otherwise the onions won't fry. Add a, a pinch of salt, some pinches of required amount of salt. If you have too much salt, then the recipe will be completely spoiled, so be careful of that. Add the only the required amount of salt. So now the onions are being brown, then only I'll, uh, I'll leave that. After that, you add the potatoes, the grinded potatoes. So now the potatoes are added, now we need to mix them. Before that, we need to add the masalas, such as the turmeric, the cumic, and the red chili powder. So now, after that you add the masalas, you must add the coriander leaves. That's an important stuff. So after you add the, only after you add the coriander leaves, then only you will mix it. So my mom has added the coriander leaves completely and now we mix it. So now it becomes really gold and looks so beautiful and looks so gorgeous. And then after you made the mix, you must cool it down. Let you cool it down in a separate bowl for 5 to 10 minutes. 
So now we are go- we are here back at the doll. So now time to make the sheets. So first you need to make the doll a really oval shape, and then we make a ball out of that oval shape doll. First you need to twist and turn, turn and twist and make a ball. Doesn't require that much force. You must rub and come, come rub and twist and do that. Like my mom, my mom's a bit experienced. So now we've done it. We are going to add some bit of flour to make this sheet. You must make the sheet as thin as possible, maximum. You can do it maximum, as thin, maximally as thin as possible. It's important to keep the sheet a bit thin here, so it make it very crispy. So make it as maximally as thin as possible. So that's the main objective on making the sheets. So now my mom has made the sheets here. We are going to use it on the uh, use the filling, the potato filling, and make it oval shape, and also make the make the walls. So now we got the pot, we got the mixture is cooled after ten minute relaxation. Now we gotta make mix it at some time like this, and also make it oval shaped. Make the filling an oval shaped, and also make it oval shaped ovals. Make some oval shape, some ovals out of the filling. Make an oval shape. First, you gotta make some balls and make it oval shaped, like this here. As you can see, my mom's doing it, making oval shape fillings, which later will be added. So now the fillings is completely finished. Now we gotta add it with the sheets. But before that, we need a paste to glue the sheets together. So this is made from maida and water. So this is a maida paste. Or maida glue. So next thing we need to do is to place the sheets, cover the toppings, fillings with the sheets. So we must measure the width of the sheet and cut the sheet at the edge of the the as you can see here edge of the filling. And then you must roll it. And then you can keep on doing this. Keep on doing this for the rest of the process. As you can see, my mom's doing it really well. You can do this for the rest of the process. So next thing you need to do is add the paste, but do not add too much paste since it can actually ruin the recipe. So add too much paste since it won't spill out. If you add too, if you add too many paste, it might spill out. So add only a few paste, few amounts of paste. So now these, now these puppies have been turned to rolls. And then now these now these guys had turned to rolls. Now it's time to fry them and make them golden. So make, make add pour some oil as you can see my mom poured the oil and made it hot. So only after the oil is hot, then only you can fry them. One at, you can place it one at a time. So the limited space here is my mom can only fi- add five of this because our pan is, can only hold five of these. If you have more, if you have more, if your pan has much more space, then you can add more. So the go- the goldness of the rolls is also important because the potato rolls mousse is soft inside. If you want much more crispy, then you can make it much more golden. If you are, if you want it as soft inside, then you can make it less gold. It's uh, it's up to you to make it more gold to make it crispy or less gold to make it soft inside. So that's that. So now we have finally finished the recipe, guys. It's good for also also black tea and normal tea. I choose black tea because black tea is my favorite tea. So and also we got a special sauce created by my mom, which you can dip it on. So now with the recipe is complete. Now let's taste test it. So let's go, friends. Let's taste test it. So now I'm going to taste test this tasty and delicious. Potato roll samosa here, as you can see. Now we're gonna dip it in the sauce. It's so good. Mm. So it's also compatible with black tea or normal tea if you prefer it. So now I have black tea because my mom made it for me. Because I like black tea. And it's so, and it, it is so good. 
in both black tea and also normal tea. Also, the sauce is so delicious. That's the taste when you dip it in the sauce. It's amazing. So, if you like this video and you want to try like this video, then click on the like button cl and cl sh click on the subscribe and click on the bell notifications for more amazing videos like this. And also, if you have any suggestions, you can share your suggestions in the comment section below and share this to your families and friends. And with that out of the way, bye!